Today we're going to solve a big problem with this Wrangler. Whether I'm backing up into my driveway or trying to fit the Jeep in a tight space, I'm constantly cramming my neck trying to find a clear view. It's unfortunate that the Jeep Wrangler never came with a rear backup camera, but in today's video, we're gonna be installing one. I'll share with you how to find out if your radio is compatible, what parts and materials that you're gonna to need to add a camera, and my simple solution, how to mount your camera to your spare tire. Let's get to work. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find out if your radio is compatible for a reversing camera or a camera view. And usually you can find out on the back of the radio, there are some video jacks that will definitely tell you if it's compatible or not. You can usually go into the settings and find camera settings, or you can just do a quick Google search, find out the brand and the model number of your radio unit and that'll definitely tell you as well just doing a quick google search well, i'm going to go ahead and go into the settings of the stereo i'm going to go into the toolbox and i'll go to camera settings we want to make sure that the backup camera input is on and the polarity is battery and then if you also wanted a parking assist guide you want to select that as well which in my case i do want a parking select drive so you want to make sure your settings are turned on for the camera now on the back of the radio, there's gonna be two ports, one for a camera and one for a reversing camera. In this case, we're gonna be using the reversing camera setup. Now you're gonna plug in a yellow cable into that port on the back. And then there's gonna be a red wire that comes with the camera cable. That red wire is gonna be going onto the reversing wire in the image shown here on the back of the radio. Now, if you're interested in an install on a radio, how to take apart the dash, install this. There's a couple good videos on YouTube. I'll list links in the description box on how to install a radio. That way you're familiar with all that and the wires in the back of the radio. First cable I wanna talk about is one of these cable. You'll see a red pigtail coming off of this audio cable. Now this cable is ran all the way along the passenger side of the Jeep. I basically ran it through and behind this carpet here and then down the tub along this area with these cables here just go ahead and zip tie that to finish that off and then behind the seat belt through all this plastic here up and over and underneath the dash and then on to the other side up into the stereo deck that we have here definitely going to be a good idea to have everything back here working before you do all the fit and finish. So what I mean by that is have a power supply so where you can turn on the camera and you can plug in the power supply, hook up it to your video cable, your pigtail, and get all of your cables ready to go, everything working from front to back, and then do your fit and finish up into your tire carry. I'm gonna be taking off this cover, that way we can hide all the wires and cables behind the cover and feed them through the different holes. This cover as well will need to be removed. I used a little pry bar and it helped pull that off. Try and be extra careful with this part as it will break. Now I'll be installing a new aftermarket bumper. This part's gonna be optional. This is the rear connector and cable for the factory spare tire brake light. And because I'm installing a new aftermarket bumper, I thought installing the camera was the perfect time to do this. You'll see why. Found this part on an old circuit board from a TV I took apart couple years back and I just basically soldered on some wires and that should work to jump the two and then now we could just hook up our cables from the stereo over to the camera side so I've got them plugged in I'm just gonna wrap this up with tape that way none of the contacts are showing but it'll do the job I've tapped off my power cable from the camera over to another wire this wire here, we're gonna feed it through that rubber grommet there into the back of the tail light housing. I've used these splice. Um, they're pretty non-invasive. They don't really damage any wires. I really like them. So power and ground, your ground is to your ground for the head, the tail light. And then your power is coming off of the red wire on the light side over here. And that's for the reverse light. Now on the loom, of that factory harness which i don't really want to touch that but just so you know maybe your wires down here on the output of the connector are the colors are different you're going to want to look for the white and the purple wire right there in the center of the connector so it's white white and purple okay just a quick recap of the connections i've got my cable right here that i'm holding that's for the power cable for the camera power supply 
and then I had tapped in another cable that's going over there over to the rubber grommet down into the tail light housing and then the red wire coming off the pigtail of your video cable and that's the red wire the signal wire back to the radio telling the camera that you're in reverse and then of course I've got my video all plugged in and ready to go so that's all working I've got my cable tied in with my power supply video and power and that's all running down here I've got plenty of cable so at this point you're probably gonna want to hook everything up again just to double check that all your connections are secure it's a good time to go into the vehicle start the vehicle up boot up the radio and put it in reverse and just make sure that the this light signals on to turn on the camera on the radio all right, so one last look before I put everything away. I've got it how I want it. I've got all the wires tucked up there in that little air pocket there. And I've got the zip ties tied up to those original uh, wall mounts there. And I wasn't able to get those uh, thick cable ends through the material. It just wasn't going to happen. I tried stretching it and doing everything I could. I pulled all the tape off to see if it would fit, and it just would not fit. So what I did was I put the cables on the back side of it and I wrapped it around the, with this plastic sheathing and I think that's going to work. You can kind of see the wire there, but as long as it's inside and it flexes, it's got enough to flex here when the door opens and closes. See how it's doing that? I think we'll be okay. See how it's kind of out of the way? We'll see what it looks like when I get all this buttoned up. I got to put the plastic back on the tailgate. I've got those all taped up with the wires. I ran the wires through here over to this side and then out. And then I had some more of that sheathing material and I just covered up the cables to the ends. All right, so everything's back together. This is what it's gonna look like all done. You can see how it kind of folds outward. And you can see how it's just kind of in a loop right there. I think that'll work. All right, so I've got the tire carrier installed and I'm not gonna share with you what tire carrier it is. If you think you know what it is, let me know in the comment box below, but I'll list a link right up here where you can go watch the whole install on that tire carrier. So what I did was I took the rubber grommet from the other side behind the plate and um, I used, reused that rubber grommet. I had to bore a borehole hole for the cables to fit through. I originally used the sheathing that I was talking about earlier. And then I just fed my power cable and the video cable through these holes. It just worked out and then plugged in my cables. And then those are just fed up to the mount where the camera is on the other side of the tire. So here's the camera and mount, which I had to modify to fit on the tire valve of the wheel. And you basically just unthread the cap here and it slides on and off. So all I did to modify the mount was I took a 5 16 washer and I welded it to the thin sheet metal bracket. And surprisingly, it's pretty secure. And it also has some adjustability, but I can get the plastic cap real tight and I could adjust it this way or this way. And surprisingly, it's been secure. And I've actually never seen a mount like this. Let me know in the comment box if you've ever seen something like this. But I really like how it can be easily taken off and on in the case I need to use the spare. So that's it. The camera mount. And yeah, I'm happy with that. So that's going to be it. Pretty simple install. All of the wiring is basically running off of that brake tail light. When you select the reversing gear, that light comes on and it sends the signal up to the stereo. The camera comes on and it starts working. So this will give us a clear view. It's going to enhance our driving and everything just that goes along with being able to quickly see what's going on behind you. So with that, we're going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you like this kind of video and definitely uh, check out some of my other videos that may be helpful to you. We'll see you on the next one. Have a good day. Peace out.